Hey our viewers, today we're going to be testing out the living room air conditioner or at least what was the living room air conditioner last year this is the Amana Cool Zone and this is an 18,000 BTU unit with a model number of 18C 3MD Now this unit had a lot of problems last year and I really don't know what to expect. I don't think it's going to work properly but let's just plug it up and see what happens and we'll go from here. finish getting the garage set up again. Alright, let's see if the fan works. I doubt it. Huh. The fan works. Oh, it didn't work last year when I put it away, so that's very interesting. going better than I expected. I'm gonna get my heater set up here for when I'm gonna lose stuff. <clears throat> this thing's gonna go out of range and then it won't run anymore if I get this going. That ran for the first day. I'm actually going to stick a video. Huh. Well, it's actually uh, running pretty good. Now, there's definitely, I think, a problem with the charge on this thing because it's only cold like at the bottom. And that's why I remembered last year it's cold on this side, but it's kind of almost ambient temperature on the right. So that's that I think is an issue. But. If it hasn't gone down any since last year, which it definitely has some charge in there, I'm not opposed to recharging it. Although, I don't know how much I'll be able to put in because the condenser is shot on this. There's Airflow, and no airflow, like a quarter or a third, the, the condenser is just rotting. So the problem is the head pressure is going to go crazy if I start adding more gas. So, because like really, there's nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. It doesn't start until almost halfway up. So, I will try to clean it some more but I don't think it's dirty I think it's just rotted and that's only going to get worse oh it's cold pretty much all the way across now it's definitely colder on this side but it's cold most of the way across and the coil yeah it's still only cold at the real bottom the surface temperature of the coil it's cold up to there now so it's getting better, but it's not uh, not quite what it should be. So I'll give it some time, let it build up the head pressure. It hasn't run for a long time, so it's going to need a few minutes at least to get going. I'll go grab my uh, thermometer in the time being. All right, it's been about five minutes now since I turned it on. And it's actually cold all the way across, so this is working a lot better than I was expecting it to. 30 
35 at the bottom, 35 in the middle, and uh, 49, 50 at the top. So that's not crazy. We have 30, 35 coming out, 34. And we have a uh, point like the round of the picture going in is uh, 66. So it's actually working pretty good. So good. I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked that this is working properly because towards the end of last year it wasn't cooperating very well, but fortunately it looks like it's going to be fine. I'm definitely worried about the condenser because it's just not getting a good airflow. It's not getting anywhere near as much air for it as it should be. You know, like this one blasts a ton of air off the condenser. And this, it's like just barely even moving. And the compressor to me sounds very labored, which would make sense. I mean, this is even hot at the top already. machine when it was installed in its previous life this was covered and the building went to here as you can see there's clearly uh, some silicone here and then this is shot and then this is like brand new so something terrible transpired when this was installed and I think that this thing suffocated most of its life and that's kind of the problem I'm finding with most of these units at this point is these have been around 30 or 40 years and it was improperly installed or improperly maintained and it just starts to take its toll on the equipment. And so these are failing not because the equipment itself is failing but because of user error. Yeah, this is good and cold. I'm really, really surprised. If anything was going to have a problem this year, this was what I was expecting to not work.
like the sound of this machine. It's pretty good for a rotary. I don't know why there was so many problems last year. Right now it's working perfectly fine. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run for a while, maybe an hour or two now. And I'm going to let it sit overnight and we'll try it again tomorrow. I'm going to keep running it for the next couple days and uh, see what happens. I mean, right now it's working perfectly fine. It's full pretty much all the way through. I'd say the last couple inches it's ice like the bottom, but this is going to be somewhat normal, especially in high cool. So, I guess everything here is copacetic. That's great. I'm thrilled about that, but I'm shocked 